Welcome to the Digital Revolution. I'm Jim Kunkel. Whether it is a business, a public entity, or a nonprofit association, it is now impossible for an organization to function without using digital technology and its external and internal communications. The digital organization needs to facilitate personal communications with three key groups, being its staff, its suppliers, and its customers. Before we get into this episode, let me explain to you how you can support the Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel podcast and other content featured on the Digital Revolution channel on YouTube. CoffeeBrandCoffee.com offers top quality coffee and tea from the best global sustainable growers. With every purchase using the special website link provided in the description section of this podcast, you'll be supporting this podcast and YouTube channel. So please use the special website link listed with this broadcast. And now back to the episode. The Digital Revolution with Jim Kunkel aims to provide insight for business professionals into revolutionary changes and the impact of digital media on businesses in a logical sequence. I'll take you through a step-by-step -step approach that addresses key issues in the implementation of online strategies and tactics. Prior to the digital revolution, one-to-one -one communication between members of staff was restricted to landline telephones and face-to-face -face conversations. Traveling staff, such as salespeople, could spend the week on the road with little or no contact with their managers or suppliers, making it much harder to adapt strategies and discuss deals in real time. They would also feel less connected to their organization. Today, whether using desk-bound or mobile facilities, the modern worker is never out of touch with base, no matter what the distance is in miles. Thanks to the ready availability of mobile phones, laptops, handheld devices, and Wi-Fi technology, easy access to mobile communication greatly adds to the effectiveness and efficiency of staff, no matter where they work in the organization, and providing it should be a high priority for any manager in the digital age. Digital communication also improves the efficiency of procurement, storage, and distribution strategies. While contact between individuals is still a key aspect of efficient operations, digital technology has also made strategic management far more efficient. Computer programs are used to track and control processes such as stock management and delivery schedules with global positioning located the whereabouts of orders at any given point in time. Furthermore, electronic product codes or EPCs using radio frequency identification, RFID scanners, facilitate the control of inventory, storage, and logistics, as well as aiding electronic point-of-sale systems. Digital technology has made communication within an organization and contact with external suppliers both convenient and less expensive, but using it to interact with your customer is where it can generate income for the organization. Although personal contact is common between business-to-business -business environments, it is also in consumer marketing that digital technology has had the greatest impact. Digital facilities like email and chat and the interactive nature of many websites allow personal relationships to develop between vendor and customer in a way that was not possible using traditional mass communication media. Now let's talk about digital buying behavior. Another impact of the digital revolution on society is particularly evident in the way contemporary consumers make purchase decisions. Gone are the days when customers were limited to a few local stores. The digital shopper can now access product information at home, at the workplace, or where they have access to a mobile device virtually anywhere. Buyers go through a process called the buying cycle during which they address their purchasing needs. This concept suggests that each purchase is made up of a series of actions that determine the final decision. A further step that is post-purchase behavior, often considered to be psychological justification for the purchase that reinforces the buying decision. 
Digital media has revolutionized buying behavior by making huge amounts of information readily available to the buyer. Online retailers now publish information about their products in greater detail than traditional media and more economically. However, as in traditional media, this information is marketing copy designed to sell the product. While this information can be useful to the potential buyer, it is independent online information that trends to be the most valued by the consumer. This is now easily available on regulated watchdog type websites, review sites, and individual blogs. There are three key attractions to using digital information in making purchasing decisions. Independent data. Independent reviews are much easier to find online. Research shows that buyers trust content that is generated independently more than businesses' websites advertising a product. Convenience. Buyers can go through every stage of the buying cycle from the comfort of their home, from researching alternatives to making a purchase and having it delivered to their home. Lower prices. Lower business startup and operating costs combined with numerous price comparison websites and wider product availability make it easy for consumers to track down the lowest prices for the product or service they are interested in. I appreciate your time and attention to this episode of the Digital Revolution. Related to the digital transformation and or the digital revolution, if you have recommendations on topics or guest interviews, please email me at jim at jimkunkel.com. Again, that email is jim at jimkunkel.com. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, post a comment about this episode's topic. And importantly, share it with someone who would get value out of watching this episode.